I mean, we've all wondered what happens when you cross over to the other side. I know you have. I just know you have. And oh yes, there's still love there, and there's still sex there, and there's a lot going on in the afterlife. Yeah. Trust me. Mm. How many of you have heard about the afterlife dating service? Woo! Woo! Wasn't that a great reading that she had? Oh, yeah. Ooh, I was there in spirit, and I see some of those fine actors. My sight got a little blurry from coming through the tunnel. <laughs> I, I see back there we have William Hill and Pamela Hill. They were in the reading. And here we have Scott Moss. He was in there, too. And I see Roberta Basin over there. Oh, she was in it. And I know I'm going to miss somebody like Audrey Meadows. Meadows? Are you named Mitchell or Meadows? <laughs> That's just Mae West trying to edge her out, you know. I, you have to forgive me. And, oh, Rhoda. Oh, this is Rhoda Pell. And she is Martha. Now, I don't know if you know it or not, but Rhoda Pell, Pell, Rhoda Pell, a little dust in my mouth from the tunnel. Rhoda Pell plays Martha, and she is the first woman who joins the Afterlife Dating Service. And hopefully we're going to have all these wonderful actors be with us in the movie. Now we are doing the movie. That's why we're here. Because, you know, I just want to say before that, I noticed that I'm looking around and there aren't a lot of men here. There are just a few men, but there's more women. That's okay, ladies. I understand. A hard man is good to find. Did you get that? A hard man is good to find. Are we in Jersey now? <laughs> uh, I know. I know. I know we have a lot of people from Ohio. Ohio and Scott he's there on the camera he's from Ohio and Gail back there is from Ohio now let me tell you a little bit more about this why we're here the reason we're here is there is an Indiegogo campaign going on as I speak it was made live yesterday now to make this project happen as a SAG after project which we do have to support the arts after all Wes, we do appreciate your help, because seriously, it can't get done without that. And we really, really do appreciate it. And I appreciate every one of you for being here, for supporting me. I think Mae West is leaving the building. <laughs> but I do. It means it, you all touch my heart just by showing up. Now, you are in for a real treat. Because this woman, Gail Moss, is a very good friend of mine. I met her in Women in Film, and I have met such wonderful people in Women in Film. And what she is going to do is just tease you with a little bit of her very funny humor. Yay. And it's okay because she always, oh, Marguerite, I'm afraid my humor's too raunchy. I said, good. You're with Mae West. The raunchier, the better. So, you know, when she's being raunchy, you support her. Okay? That's important. You know, don't, don't boo her because we can't have that. Mm -mm -mm. I'll throw you in the pool, although you might like that. <laughs> now, this wonderful woman has done several appearances in Flappers, and she is very funny, and she's also made it up to the big time at the comedy club on Sunset, and she does whores on Sundays. Oh, she's there sometimes hanging out being a whore on Sunday. Good for you. So um, it's very, very important. So what I would like to do now is stop babbling, and I would like to introduce you to the lovely, talented, and very funny Gail Moss. Make her feel welcome. <laughs> I don't know if I can live up to that, my God. <laughs> that was quite an introduction. But it is, it's really nice to be here amongst friends. It's a nice change. Um, last week... <laughs> that was funny. Thank you. Well, we're off to a good start, aren't we? Uh, last week I was at a drag bar and uh, everybody kept coming up to me and telling me how realistic I look. Uh, that stung a little bit. <laughs> I spent the whole night getting my boobs honked and telling people my name wasn't Mary. <laughs> I was wearing flats for Christ's sake. That should have been a dead giveaway. I wasn't a dude. <laughs> oh my God. But um, it's summer and that means reunions. 
family reunions, which I try to avoid. <laughs> I'd rather go to the zoo and have orangutans <laughs> fling shit at me. It's more civilized. <laughs> I went to my family reunion. I looked around and I said, I see fat people. <laughs> And my high school reunion, I went to my class reunion recently. Seeing those girls reminded me of when we were kids and we'd have sleepovers and we'd all lie about who got their period. Except now we were all hungover and lying about who still has one. <laughs> but we, we were unpacking for four days and I said to my husband, there is going to be some sex in this apartment tonight. And that means both of us. <laughs> so, but by the time we got everything unpacked, I was so exhausted. When I got in the shower, I just, I just shaved the front of my legs. <laughs> Turned out it was the wrong side. <laughs> so after that, I quit drinking. <laughs> I kind of missed drunk dialing. It was the only time I talked to my family. <laughs>